Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld, Freedom's Drift, and our very south wall of the base here, and it's just about complete. A couple blocks left over there, and I think we're about done. So as far as sealing us in and away from all of the, the catacombs, I guess we'll call these the catacombs, <laughs> where the boomalopes live. Oh, Eric's finishing that door over there that we've started a couple times to finish and never got back to. Klaus is finishing that door. We've got these over here. Grandma has to bring over one more group of blocks and then go clean something so that uh, Klaus or Handy could do the construction, get it done quicker. And those two blocks will seal us in. Looks that way. Now, as far as... Yeah, we've got our, our bulkheads in place. Uh, one more door over here, and that's done. We mined this one out because when we had when we broke into this area here, the uh, bugs, I think it was bugs at that point, yeah. Um, we're going to run into here, and I wanted to get one, two, three, four, five people in to shoot through that door. So I needed one more space, and that's convenient, but it's also a weak spot, so I'm debating what to do there. What if we were to just put in that? I think that would work. They can fill that in. It strengthens it and still gives us the ability to put five people, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, in this doorway. One jumps in the door, all four of the other ones start shooting through at whatever shows up in this half of the, of the, the catacombs. Yep, yeah, I think that's good. Over here, we got our double. We can get one, two, three, four, and five in each of these kind of doors. That one, that one, everything is offset by one, so that works out really well. Yeah, that's working. Anyway, you guys done here? We're on the last one. Oh, Grandma's decided to come back and finish that. Okay, um, so telling her to go clean something doesn't cancel the original. Good to know. Uh, we are at 11 o'clock, I think the day after the last episode, so just went through the night. One thing I didn't mention last time is I went ahead and threw in one more wind turbine over here to, uh, to sit in this area. There's no conflicts. No. Oh, blocked by wind turbine. Oh, bummer. I didn't realize that. I was wondering why these batteries weren't increasing. I put so much more power in here and they're all dead. I see. Darn. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. This has got to be backed off enough so that this line is right over here. Okay, well, cancel that one. Can't move it. I have to, uh, to build a new one. In fact, I can kind of set that in place. Well, it would go right here. If I backed up any further, we're kind of into all that. Now, nah, let's wait till this goes away. Um, in fact, let's just do that. Who? Radar. Why don't you pop over here and deconstruct that for me? And we'll try and do that one better. Anyway, harvest a lot of stuff. No more breakdowns over here. Hmm. Harvest a lot of stuff and getting another round of plantings in. The minor break risk. The fridge is looking great. In fact, we're actually going to run out of room. Wow. Okay. I didn't think we'd be sitting in that position right now. I'm going into last winter with only food sitting right here and nothing in there and, and a bunch of meals, thinking how on earth are we going to make it? Wow. Adding... Uh, these two and that one was all it took to get us over the limit there. So break and that's Faith, who is here because of... No, you're fine that way. Um, what are you doing? You're digging at marble. Digging at marble. Oh, we found some gold over here. Um, I didn't know Faith was a miner. Pause. What am I missing here? Faith... Mine is over there. You do have one passion for it. So that means there's nothing to grow. So you dropped into mining. Okay. Um, construction, you're 7 out of 20. Hmm. Mining is going to put you in dirty areas and you're not doing too well on your mood right now. I'm curious. Your joy is up there pretty good. So adding more joy is not really going to help it. You slept in the cold. Where's your room? Let's see if we can't fine-tune some things. You're in this area somewhere. Faith, right down in here. Temperature, 59. So, the heater's not on. Okay, I guess it's time to throw all the heaters on, huh? 
This one has been built. That one did get in. Now that this one's in, temperature is 68 degrees. Perfect. Okay. So that's everything in, in these bedrooms except for the one that hasn't been built right there, which means that David is sleeping in the cold, 59. And then up in here, on, on, temperature of 64, 64. In fact, all these are supposed to be set for 64. Now, I can't do that manually. All I can do is tell them to go up or down. So I don't know which ones are already at 64 and which ones are at 70 without clicking on each one. There's a 64. And so the newest one, 64, is the one at the end over here. And that one started at 70. So 64, they seem to be fine at that temperature. So they don't have to, to waste it energy beyond that. You are 64. You, there's one in here. Where are you? 64. And then these two over here are older ones, so they should all still be at that. Okay. Um, I did ask someone, I don't remember who, but they've run over to, uh, to install a second one over here and I moved it. So this is all the, the flu the uh, needing treatment, so they're off getting their getting their 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 flu boosters. Um, anyway, give me um, power conduit. I went ahead and I see the switch isn't in yet. Ah, okay. Once the switch goes in, this will be switched over here. These guys are going to tap this. That's going to tap this, so I can turn off power in this area without having to go and manually switch everything off. In fact, I can kind of. Eric, what are you doing? You are going all the way up here to work on conduit, okay? And Klaus, on his own, because I didn't assign them to come up here. Actually, I didn't. Interesting. They picked a project to work on as far away as they possibly could. Both these guys, I'm pretty sure, when we started the episode, were down in here. I haven't given them orders. Interesting. So I wonder if it goes by age. Meaning these have been sitting here waiting for a while. As compared to some of the other ones down there. I don't know. Where'd Eric go, though? I want him to do something. There you are. You are now building a granite door, but can you... Oh, the pig took it. You're kidding me. I wanted that component. Where'd that component go? <laughs> well, okay. Someone just dropped it off back over there. I want the switch in. So, Eric, why don't you go ahead and do this? There was a component sitting right there, and it would have been so easy to just... Oh, deconstruct power conduit. Okay, yeah, that's fine, because I didn't connect anything to this on purpose, because I knew this would be shutting down on us, because we're gonna, going to uh, deconstruct before we can construct. Now we're going to go get a get some steel. Okay, so you get that one going, and it's done. Um, oh, someone tore this down, and we have no components left to build another one. Yeah, we have the one that's going into, and it's going to be taken right now. Nope, radar's not going to take it. But we need components. We need a component builder. Radar, you were going to get a stone block. Hmm. That's all. Yeah, we've got no uh, granite and only a little bit of marble. Okay, we just need more of us. Natalia, you are waiting to autosave to get your medicine needs you got your medicine and you're getting a good night's sleep which is working really well I don't know what uh, update 1.0 is going to be like but here in 18 this seems to work major break risk um, not keeping them in bed the whole time but only long enough to finish off the rest every time they need medicine we were fairly even, like 34% flu and 38% immunity. You can see the spread has really increased. 47% flu and 62% immunity. So that enough, that amount of time in a good hospital bed or in a good hospital room with monitors and, and what have you seems to be doing the job. George, I'm pretty sure, doesn't clean. Yeah, he doesn't. Nice to get somebody to clean this up. Natalia, yeah, let's let you sleep off the last of that. Um, and you just got fed, actually. You know what? Let me think about that again. Natalia needs... You're close. Yeah, you're close. How about you? You will never clean either. Okay. But you will make components and I'm really needing them. So we're going to do that. Okay. So there's that. What else was I talking about? Oh, this one. Who, what, how. Faith is just breaking on me. Okay. What are we going to do to get Faith uh, back up and running? Ugly environment. 
Feels terrible. Hmm. Well, you don't need a treatment. And I could force you to rest. Let's, although your, you know, your joy here, but hmm. I've never seen them break when they're in bed. And maybe that'll be enough to get her mood up. Let's try something. First of all, let's go get a good meal in a nice, um, dirty, <laughs> um, uh, room here. Shantigo, when you're done, please clean this up. Thank you. And then Faith, so I guess I don't want you, to, I don't need the drama in this episode. Let's, um, let's have you then grab a meal. We'll go for one of these right here. And then when you're done, 17, let's have you go to bed early just this one time. We're going to send you to bed. Faith, you are now sleeping at, oh, 1800 on. You don't need any more joy. you got plenty of that, and it's not doing any good. So let's just get you to do that for now. <clears throat> let's see if that's enough to send you back into the green zone, because you're in the red zone right now. Um, Tomislav has still got this inspired surgery, and that ends in another day or so. I was hoping for some kind of a trader to pop in that would sell us a bionic something and use it for that. Otherwise, I've only got that, uh, prosthetic arm, and it's not a whole lot of a bonus. Simple but durable prosthetic arm. Does it tell me anything? Body part efficiency? 50%. So that tells me that... You know, if they're running at 85% and I gave them this, they're now going to drop down to 50%. Am I right there? I was thinking of uh, Diamond Health, who's got 85% on her left arm and 89% on her left hand. So a prosthetic arm would replace both. But a rat self tane Oh, joy. But, um... Um, I... That... I'm thinking that this 50% here means that she's going to go from 85 and 89 down to 50 on both. So there's no advantage there. This is when the arm is gone. At least you get something out of it. But I don't think there's any reason to want to downgrade somebody to, uh, to a mechanical arm that doesn't do much. So there's no point in using this just for the sake of using it and end up with less of a person. So I don't think I want to go that route. Rat self-tamed. Okay, well, um, <clears throat> welcome to the co uh, the colony, I guess, um, Rat One. Sure, let's train you for um, for release. <laughs> Put you in the kibble zone. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll let you be nuzzled too, and and named and and follow somebody. That'd be kind of interesting. Your pet rat for the rest of the rest of the series. Yeah. Um, so, Faith, you are here yet? You are there. There you are. So, hopefully you make it. Let's put another blueprint in. And so, it could be... Oh, it cannot be within the range of the other one. It could be right here. But now we're in the way of what? What causes that? Why is it red? Oh, because the sandbag is in the way of, of the space right where the it is itself. So that right there would do it. That would accomplish the job. It would leave space for one more solar panel there if we wanted to. Okay. So one more solar panel right in here if we chose to do that. But we need a bunch of components to pull that off. Hmm. Okay. We can get it started though. Handy, you are building your granite door. Can you just get started by putting all the silver into here? Why can't I right click on that? That's weird. It does it because there's a pig in it? Because there's a pig in it. All right. There. Oh, there's a rat in it. But that'll still pull it off. Okay. Our, our rats come home. Yep, that's a big old New York City sewer rat too, isn't it? Wow. What was that last one? So middle break of faith. Oh, she she downgraded to just a minor break. Okay. And Billy is... Is he's so lost in his work over here that uh, he doesn't realize that he's desperately needing another flu booster. But he just, he can't, he, he's inspired. He is totally inspired. <laughs> Unaware of his surroundings. Ah, Rimworld. So, what kind of trouble are we going to get into this episode? That's the question. 
I have no idea. It feels like it's been a long time now since we've had a, a real raid. So it's got to be coming soon. How are these doing through the night? 322... 321. How soon to 320? 320. So it, we are still losing. Um, this one is gaining though, and especially gaining through the night. I hate to have too many batteries connected up to, uh, to risk... Klaus, do that one for me. To risk um, um, a big z but that extra power could sink into us tonight. Breakdown, another breakdown. Uh, we are never going to get there. Now you're replacing component. How badly did you need? Now you didn't need it. Okay. So you found a component somewhere, huh? You are... Yep, you found a component. A component. And you're going to go fix a door somewhere. Right over there. Not critical until we have a raid. Yeah, then it, it'd be critical. Hmm. Okay. Let it happen. Um, we're connected. So, do we have power going back up? 319. 320. Ah, good. We'll get a boost through the night. That's why I decided to leave the switch in here rather than sever the two completely. Let's give us the ability to, kind of like when your battery's dead in your car, to kind of jump start one side or the other. Me as well. I mean, it's all here. It's all power. We have no way to do that on this side of the river, but over here, may as well take advantage of it. Otherwise, how did this ever come out? So three spaces over here to work on. That rat is just trying to pick the lock, isn't it? Oh, that squirrel. Um, but uh, we're pretty, we're complete enough over here, I think. They may get the, the order to randomly do it, just like they got the order to come up here and work on these doors, which really surprised me. Handy, you're doing what? You are building a roof. Oh, yeah, that's something you got to worry about with these uh, geothermals. It will, uh, it will overheat. If you close it into a building, that's too small. Uh, remove roof. Oh, it already is. I already set that. Okay, I think they tried to do that once before, and I stopped them. That's it? Resting? No, 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 no. Get up here and finish your job. Build me a roof. And do that. Okay, and build me a roof. <clears throat> May as well make it finished. Okay, now it's complete. You don't have to wander back up here again as soon as you wake up in the morning. Okay, and Eric, you're doing what? You're building more roofs. Which one are you building? I don't know. There shouldn't be a roof there. Unless you're standing here to do this one, but you would do it from the outside, wouldn't you? Or are you going, ah, Handy got it all done for me? <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't cancel that order. Your remember is usually pretty good at that, but no. Okay, David, not you too. No, 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 let's... Okay, you just, you just, yeah, you just go do something. Okay, David, let's see, you're, you're a nighttime builder anyway. Uh, have we, no, we need a component. How many components? We need two components. That's all. Okay. Will, Natalia, needs. Yeah, your joy's going up. You're so happy building these things. Um, your sleep was disturbed four times. That's probably what's hurting a lot of them sleep disturbed because I thought something just happened, everything jittered because they're all going into common rooms over here interesting, are there beds available? there are, kind of let's say no more to this, Alicia you're good and let's say prisoner let's say prisoner Alicia's, oh I'm out of here and no more uh, doing that to the uh for the you know the the boarding home, what do you call that one? There's, it'll tell me right here, right? Uh, barracks, yeah. So no more barracks. You guys can fight over the hospital beds that are real, and that way there'll be no more. Well, there'll still be a disturbed sleep once, as they go in and get treated while they're sleeping. Otherwise, they're going to be fine. Hmm. What now, Daniel? You are hauling rice to stove one. And then you're going to clean the kitchen. Because I caught you. Up here, yeah, the butcher area has certainly been worse. Diamond, you are in here waiting for your, your medicine. And probably, no, you're not catching a sleep. Well, is there someone actually coming to do that? 
That would be Natalia, who is stuck over there making components. It could be George, who's sleeping. And it could be Oath Knight, who's sleeping. Ah, okay. So, clear Cathra, who's going to go take care of Sea Stars, and then take care of everybody else, and eventually, hopefully just in time, take care of herself. But in the meantime, calling another colonist, need, Natalia needs one. Ah, okay, well, someone's going to have to take care of her, too. Yeah, the flu is fun. Um, not. Has never been said before, right? <laughs> David, you are going to throw some marble at that. Okay, good. And we'll finish that. Oh, we can get diagonal into that. Yep, that'd be fine. Hmm. So I went ahead and set the last of these bedrooms to be mined out. Just to get it done. We'll get these built. But... A wild boar is giving birth and a cow is pregnant. Ah, there goes one. What was I just about to say? That is wild boar 83. What, are you, what an original name. Um, I don't know. That just blew my mind. Hmm. Tomislav's up. He'll take care of him. Oh, woke up Michael. Oh, oh, that's not good. We got power dropping in and out. Why do we have... Because we turn on more heaters. And that was just enough to take us over the limit. It is still the middle of winter, too. Hmm. Okay, well, got to turn that on, and we need a power boost. We do, and we need components to do it, no matter how we do. Hmm, okay. Well, I was about to say, do we reorganize our power and get a whole bunch of them over here? It'd be nice to get back our grow zone here, but um, that takes more components, because we got to tear down to build new ones, so that's not going to help. Um... Yeah. Who's up here anyway? Faith? No, I'm not bothering Faith. She's actually watching TV. Good. Sea Stars and Natalia just, just thumbs down to each other. Flick on a switch. Okay, thank you. Natalia, you are consuming a fine meal. And we have rolling blackouts going. I could leave the rolling blackouts. Well, that's possible. But it'd be nice to, uh, to fill these up. Tomorrow, if we happen to get a good sunny day and we happen to get a... Uh, um, a good breeze, you know, 3,000 watts each. That's an awful lot of charge. We'll see where we where we end up. Be nice though if I can remember to turn that off so all the charge can go into a single bank rather than spreading it all out. Hmm. What next? Just looking around here. I'm waiting for a raid to drop in. I'm waiting for some kind of event to drop in. It feels like it's been, I don't know, more and more time in between the events to me. I mean, I've been playing the game in between the episodes you've been watching, so it's been even more time go by for me. And still, it's been pretty quiet. So, I wonder how that timer works. I know it has to do with the setting of you know which storyteller and how hard the setting is it also has to do with your, the wealth of the colony so every item that you build you add wealth every every square foot that you that you put into a room adds wealth every statue that you make adds wealth <clears throat> every piece of clothing adds wealth so the greater the wealth i'm assuming the, the stronger the attacks but i don't know if that really affects the timer I think it's more along the lines of what's coming at you. So eventually, the uh, the colony busting uh, um, this guy over here is going to eventually come at us on the back of somebody else. The the orbital power beam targeter, and there's another one, the orbital um, like bombs bombardment targeter or something like that will come down out of out of space and just destroy a whole area. Then you gotta decide how bad you want to continue playing. <laughs> Anastasia just gave birth to Dawn. So animals, let's see what's going on here. The rat has not been trained. Um, right there, you are going into the kibble zone. Um, you are still in the kibble zone, getting your training. Where are you at anyway? Does it pop up? Does not say what stage you're at. Otherwise, pig wise, we are. Over here, you guys are hauling. 
You two little guys right there need to get over to the kibble zone. And you're still being trained. All of you are being trained. And that's all looking like it's supposed to. I believe... Oh, oh, we are attached to Sangria. So, who do we want the rat attached to? Let's think about that. Faith, you want a rat? Let's give you a rat. You won't be in battle that often, so that seems like the best place for the rat to go. So, Faith, <laughs> you get a pet rat. Let's see if... Uh, if the if the rat cow is pregnant so if the rat uh, gets named and you know gets a, a little uh, uh, rat bed right next to yours and <laughs> cow's pregnant so one of these guys in here just got pregnant does it give me numbers seven out of 20 days they're both seven out of 20 days interesting huh So, what else? Ah, uh, ah, uh, we have an alpaca to hunt. We have, uh, we do have a few things over here. We've got some, uh, some walking meat. Okay, over in here, Alicia needs her medicine. <clears throat> ah, another alpaca over there who's already been marked. Oh, there it is. Our episode just got exciting. Well, theoretically. It'll get even more exciting if we go to all the trouble to get out there and have a raid drop in on us, <laughs> on top of us. Um, let me go through all this and I'll, I'll fade back in, save you the uh, the 15 minute, uh, um, um, yeah. Roll call, that's the word I couldn't come up with. Anyway, I've gone through it and everybody they had at least three quarters of their food and rest already, rather than sending anybody off to get meals just got selected and sent out that direction uh, faith is not one of them going her joy is is up there but she is still tanking eight without a table disturbed sleet insulted so something just went away hopefully it was a red one but it's not looking like it um, little pain needs treatment faith and Billy Okay, let's go get the treatment. Where did you... Isabella's is given birth. Wait a minute here. Um, yeah, stop. Where'd, where'd, that, where'd that baby go? Right over there. We got Neville. We've got a Neville. Let's... Uh, oh, and we're charging over here. Let's quickly turn that off. And yeah, there's a bunch running over there. But animals, Neville, dogs up here really quick. And Faith... Oh, it's a rat. Okay, you're fine. And we're good there. Yeah. Now, what was I just saying? Um, yeah. Don't know. But they're on their way. So let's grab this crowd right now and go up to here. And you guys can do the first. In fact, let's go a little bit higher. There. The first, the shooting, and, and, and the rest of you. If you see that crowd suddenly running this direction, screaming to, you know, to the pilot to, 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 to take off, like Indiana Jones, the very beginning of, of uh, the Temple of Doom, as, as all the headhunters are chasing after him. <laughs> that means turn around and run. <laughs> okay. Boy, it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. Now, you guys go ahead and move back up into here. There's a tree in the way. But that's getting you awfully close. They can run pretty good speed, too. Mm. Let's go back. I like that better. Right there. And can you reach anything? Um, okay, let's try just that one. A little bit further. No, that's close you're going to get. So just attack what you can. Right there. There's a few we didn't make it. And that's it, huh? Okay, well, let's get everybody. Well, let's... No, I still can't. Okay, so you guys are going to go to here. Trying to get a pet. There we go. Three deep. The rest of you are going to here. Is that all now? No, we got more. We got more. Michael, you're at the very tail end. Is that it? No, Grandma, she's trying to get out there. <laughs> Grandma, come over here somewhere. She's slow. <laughs> okay, you guys are ready to do that. Okay, so Oath Knight is in there. Let's see if we can. Nope, we, we lost somebody there. Who was that one? That is Tomislav, new Oath Knight, Tomislav, 
Don't know, but let's just move up a touch right there. And there we go. Yep, okay. Let's attack this one. There it is, the minigun. Got him. Okay, let's get everybody. Well, at least get this everybody. There's still a grandma coming. You guys all pile up into here. And yeah, that's that's a where'd grandma go? She get there already? Where'd she go? You chose the scenic route. Why don't you maybe move up into here? Maybe that will you can you can uh, catch up to us that way. All right, everybody over in here, and there, and there, and boy, that's a lot of them. All right, we'll do something like that. <clears throat> Break down orbital trade beacon, of course. Okay, Sangria, you move to there, and Bliss, you come down over here. All right, all of you guys, pepper them. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba that one. Okay. We got anybody missing? Michael, you in this crowd? I don't remember. Yes, you are. So we'll try to remember to leave one of these available for you. And pop into here. Just for fun. Yeah. We got that one to take. Then we'll break off half of them haul in right there. So all that can. Let's go this route. Hit that one. And all the... Ooh, it's gone. Okay. So all that can. This one. And all that can. This one. Okay. So we have lots of wounded. Let's take care of that. Let's release all of you. Let's pull back and set all of these guys to hunt looks like there's five of them and grandma let's give you a head start how much what's your you're, you're you're in good shape let's give you a head start to head over here to work on these three animals in this area and we'll catch up to you <laughs> and, oh no 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 don't you guys no no get right back over here michael let's have you go down here and hunt this one all right, who, who in here? Boy, is there an easy way to figure out who? Let's do this. That kind of helps and kind of doesn't. Hmm. Who needs a treatment and wants to rush in there and do something about it? But I don't know how to even think about accomplishing that. So Tomasov, let's have you do a hunt so that you can get back down there and treat somebody. Rescue. And Natalia, I don't think, is in here. She's not. So, Kaya, you can hunt this one. And is that a Cathra? You can hunt this one. And give me one more. Klaus, you're in there. Why don't you hunt this one? Nope, that won't do any good. There's one more somewhere. That was only four Muffalo, and there were five chosen. So, what did I miss? One of these two, right? Right there. Okay. So, with that, everybody else is this group. You guys are going this direction. No, not necessarily. Let's pull back and do this now. Is that all of them? Yeah. Double click. Three of them. So, I need three more to volunteer to take back Muffalo. Let's do a Shantigo so you can get back to butchering the Muffalo. Hall. And let's do a radar to haul. And who's that? Handy. One more. There. Haul. Okay. So of that group, we have left these guys. It looks that way. And Grandma. Great. You guys are elected to come out over here and face the uh, the siege raid that's going to drop in on you right as you get over here. That didn't look right at all. Let's try that again. All of you guys. How did I not <clears throat> get a hold of all of you last time? Hmm. Drop into here. It's not working. How come when I grab all of them, draft... Ah, uh, that makes more sense. Okay. Come on over here, and there you go. That's what it's supposed to look like. 
Okay, we're not that far from home. Now that we've got this up here, it feels awfully close, even though that used to be way out in Timbuktu. Yeah, I'm looking for anything else that dropped in over here. No, we're fine. Hearing shooting over there, that's the them taking down the last of the muffalo. There was a turkey or so. There were three th animals over here. Yeah, I, oh, there was another um, um, alpaca. Here he is. He's right there. Okay. So we'll work our way down in a curve and then head back home. You guys are taking your time there. What's happening in the base while we're at it? And what do we have here? Michael and Faith. Michael's on his way in. Faith is in. And we just added Gnarly who is up in here, and health, he's fine there, needs, he's just slipping into a, a mood coma here, disturbed sleep, sick, ugly environment, and a little pain, hmm, okay, can't do much for you, but Faith, what is with you, where'd you go, you're right in that area, you are, cold snap, really, Ha. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> well, um, hmm. As I was saying, Faith, Mood, uh, you're getting your rest. Then you're going to go for a meal. Okay. Your rest is going to take you to just about there, and then a good meal. I need to manually put a good meal into you and get rid of this eight without a table. Let's do that right now, so there's no way that that can be messed up. Let's grab you one of these, and I need a person that can clean. George isn't it. Who over here? Cyprian, you're, you're close by. Let's make this dining room the prettiest dining room so that Faith can just get all kinds of overjoyed and not do any crazy breaking things. All right, Grandma, you're still lagging behind. I gave you the head start. <laughs> well, we're, we're waiting for Grandma. We are waiting for Grandma. In fact, let's take everybody back a little bit so that uh, we'll kind of meet each other there. Michael and Sea Stars. Sea Stars is not with me. She's melee. Okay. Okay, Grandma. This uh, wild boar's given birth. This is for you. Fire at. And then everybody else, help her out. Nope. There. <laughs> Love that minigun. <laughs> hey, everybody over to here. And so cold snap's coming in. What does that mean for us? Before any more time goes by. I mean, we're... It means that our 69 degrees indoors right now with that extra heater, all the way down here too? Yeah, it's all considered the same room. Is probably going to drop into the 50s or 40s. We'll see, but it's not going to go below freezing in here. We have nothing else outside to uh, to worry about losing. We're at 68 in here. Outside, we're at 35. Oh, we got full power coming up over here. Oh, good. We're going to get a lot of charge into this. And it means we've got full power into this one, and we're still connected to each other. So we're going to very gradually boost all this up. Is this harming this one? No, we're still maxed out. So we're definitely making more power over here than we're using. Um, but that means we're looking at 8, 12 batteries on this thing. If we ever zzz, while we're all connected together, that could be bad. Anyway, I don't think there's much that I can do cold snap wise as far as plants. We've got nothing growing that's outside. So I guess a good time to have the cold snap is at the end of winter. Because at the beginning of winter, you're still trying to get as many of those crops in as you can. All right, that close. And fire. Auto save. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Felt kind of gypped there. Anyway, let's do that. And Grandma, why don't you hunt this one for me? No, not rescue. Um, let's try that again. Now, rescue. Oh, because I haven't done that. Okay, Grandma. There. And hunt. Okay. <clears throat> you can do that. Gnarly, why don't you 
don't consume it. No, no, no. Why don't you haul that one down? And you guys, let's go after the uh, the deadly alpaca over here. Right in there. Okay, anything else pop in during that? We missed one. We missed a... S somebody... I either didn't do it or somebody ch changed their mind on me. Hmm... Well, which of these hunters is still in, in good shape? So, Sangria needs... You're hurting. Bliss, yep, you're all hurting. Okay, you guys are going to continue this one. Let's find somebody else who's down here already that can make that run. That would love to go hunting, but didn't have a meal in them at the time. Kaya, you are consuming a fine meal. No, you're not. Let's go over and... Actually, well, if I undo this, you're just going to... No, you're not. Okay. Haul that away. And you'll go and, and consume a fine meal over here. Um, otherwise, Shantigo has already been there and back. I need somebody who didn't go. Let me think about that. Somebody who's ranged, who didn't get to go on the hunt because he or she was still busy or hadn't eaten yet. Bill, Radar, now... That's not it. Who would that be? I'm not seeing a lot of names down here. I thought something would pop in real quick, but Alicia, you could do it. You could do it. Anybody else is not at the very bottom of the base, though. But Alicia is in the running. Sea Stars, um, Cyprian, Billy, you're all melee. And over in here, Rabbit just got back, right? Actually, I don't know. I don't know if you were out there or not, but you're up here handy. You're, you've got the best stats. I think you can make the trip and not uh, not crack before you get back. Yeah, I think you're it. So, Rabbit, how about you pop over here and go and hunt this guy. And then get back to our crew over here. Then we'll clean off the sideboard over here. So that's you guys. Up into here, and this should be adequate. And we got a fancy mushroom growing over there. And can you take this out before Gnarly runs right into the middle of everything? Very good. Wow. And it's down. Okay. Well, you guys break. Um, Oath Knight, why don't you bring in this? No. Nope. Wild Boar 41 has already claimed it. All right. Fine. You guys do what you do. And Grandma's bringing in her kill. <clears throat> Very proud of that. After all that uh, lagging behind, she uh, she got hers. And that is it. So, cold snap, which means, probably for us, it means power issues. I just heard a noise. Like electricity, like a light turning on and off. What did I just hear? Breaks times five. Michael, Grandma, Daniel, Diamond, Gnarly. They're all hitting and dropping off, getting meals, and going to the hospital. So they should all be fine. Um, yeah, I think the cold snap just means power for us. It means that every heater is, is going to run and never be satisfied. Inside the... In here, we're at 66 degrees now. 66, 67. Okay. Inside here, 65. And 59, because it's... Kind of the least insulated. Uh, with the cold snap, we could turn off a cooler. We could. Let's think about that. This one. This one. I don't know which one's going to bleed into the other one just right. This one. There's only one per as it is. So, no, that's not really an answer. But cold snap, I'll leave that up for next time. Just a reminder that's going on. This one should be done, right? Jump two. Uh, corn plant has died. That's outside. Uh, that was right over there. It's done. Where's that corn plant? Yeah, the ones outside are going to die. Okay. We're going to get spammed with corn and potato plants for a while, but then they'll be finished. But beyond that, another no raid. What? We got a rescue. We got a rescue. No, 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 no. We're not going to... What? That command to rescue that I changed to hunt remained a rescue? I don't know. But, um, 
Uh-uh. We don't want to feed another one. Daniel, I know you don't want to do this, but... Hunting Reserve by George. Okay. What, what am I not getting there? Wait, what was that? Prior... No, George is going to rescue... Uh, going to heal it, isn't he? Where's George? He is a doctor. He's fighting a... Feeding a fine meal to a muffalo. No, 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 no. <laughs> um... Um, Natalia, can you just, like, you know, put it out of its misery? Go go hunt the muffalo. Thank you. Don't let the other animals watch you, though. Okay? That's gonna kind of creep them out there. But, uh, yeah, we, we, we won't show the carnage. We'll just uh, probably realize that this is a good time amidst the death of all of our outdoor plants to call this episode done. <laughs> Maybe next time we'll get an exciting raid during a cold snap. Oh, that'd be great. Well, it's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.